What do you want in a phone? The Chosen. Yo, Tech Leads, I'm Cobra, and I've never really been a mobile gamer until I tried the ROG Phone 2 and the Red Magic 3S. And while these phones have great features like high refresh rates and huge batteries, they both have a killer feature that helped convert me into the mobile gamer enthusiast that I am today. That feature are shoulder triggers. This helps mobile gaming feel almost like you're playing on a console. Now both of these phones lack something that prevented me from loving them on a day-to-day -day basis. Something small, I couldn't figure out what it is. Even at the end of my ROG Phone 2 review, I said there's something about this phone that makes it just not for me. And I wasn't able to put my finger on what it was until I got my hands on the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Now, 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 before you talk about all that no Google Play Store stuff. Just listen to this. It has those shoulder triggers. A beautiful 6.5 inch Horizon curved OLED display. Now, it's only 60 hertz, but most of the games that I play run at 60 frames per second. And actually, most of the games available are 60 frames per second. A big 4,500 milliamp battery. Eight gigabytes of RAM more than enough 128 gigabytes of storage with expandable memory a loudspeaker it's only one but it's loud and clear and it tries to simulate that surround sound feel it's not perfect but it works now as far as that no google stuff is concerned you could always sideload the Google Play Store, which I have done, or you could do one of the many workarounds that I actually made a video about, and there's tons of other apps that's available, but um, there is some tinkering involved. It may be a little bit of an inconvenience, but it's worth it in my opinion. So all of these things make this phone perfect for gaming, but the ROG and the Red Magic can do these things as well. So what does this phone have that the ROG and the Red Magic 3S don't? A ridiculously great camera. Gorgeous design. Flawless biometrics. And excellent software additions that make this feel like the iPhone of Android. <laughs> Whether you like that or not, it's really kind of like an Android and iPhone mixed together wow best of all worlds it really does feel like that more on that in another video so i i i i need an amazing phone that can play games the way i want to play games and that phone is the mate 30 pro it really does it all it's the lebron james of phones lebron may not be the best in any one single area not the best shooter not the best rebounder not the best defender but he's overall the best the mate 30 pro is good to great in all areas even if it's not the best in any of them well maybe camera let's get to that gaming trigger trigger me baby playing from behind the camera again Look at that, smooth, responsive. Look at that, smooth and responsiveness. Trigger, trigger fire, trigger fire, trigger fire, trigger fire. You can set this up however you want. If you swipe over, you see here's the game panel. Many options over here, left, right button, uninterrupted gaming, what I love. Screenshot, screen recording, game acceleration, which opens up the games faster. Looking at all the features here. It's a great thing to do. You can configure the LR buttons wherever you need them. So if I set position, I can move them around, and that's where I have mine configured. So here we go. If you notice, I put my fire and my aim up here so that it's out of my way, so I have plenty of maneuverability right here. So my L and R is up here. There it is, and it shows you. Look up here. There it is. 
and there it is. There it is. There it is. A little bit of pressure and a little bit from working behind the camera, but you know, you gotta take my word for it. If you better than me, so oh, there it is. I'm I, I'm not missing these two. Bang bang. Reload. Oh. There we go. Oh. Got my UAV. I see three of them over there. Oh, got one. Assist. Nope. Assist. All that jumping not gonna help. All that jumping not gonna help. Are they behind me? UAV. Ha <laughs> That's my game. Check this one out. Dark Sword 2. Double knock screenshot. Even though it's not 90 or 120 hertz, it is very smooth. Right, that's just another example. Pretty dope graphics. Um, let's get into another one. Let's see, uh, Real Racing 3. And I love Real Racing 3. I'm gonna show you how I have it configured. Gas, brake, gas, brake. There it is, gas, controller here, brake. Gas, brake. Just like playing on a console. Silky, silky smooth. Now this speaker is loud, it's just not in your face and not surround, it's one speaker. But you get the idea how you can use this controller those triggers tons of ways you could play another game but I haven't enabled the triggers on this one RIP if you haven't heard of this game it's pretty cool rest in pieces check this out now it did hiccup a little bit on this game it did hiccup now it's like a, a China doll that bam See right there, it, hicks, it hiccups when she breaks into pieces, sometimes. So there's a little bit of slowdown here. You have to just maneuver around all these obstacles or else you break into millions and millions of little pieces. But other than that, it's smooth. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Done, son. Done. Let's see if I get y'all a successful trial. Well, I'm on the wrong side. That's not good. Uh-oh. But it's still smooth other than that. There we go. There we go. A little bit of slowdown right there. But this is the only game that I've seen slowdown on. So it could be... And I haven't played this on other devices. So it could be the app itself or... Or it could just be the phone can't handle it. Oh. It's 
suspense is building. See if I crash. It didn't slow down that time. All right. Another one people need to see. King of Fighters All-Stars. Now this game is great. It has awesome graphics. Really good graphics. It does take a little bit longer to load. Now, I'm going to move block. Let's swipe on over. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enable LR. And I'm going to set the position. I'm going to put one on there and one on block. Here we go. Roll, block, 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 roll. Here we go. Blocking. So you get the idea. You can configure the buttons however you want. And I know everybody wants to see PUBG. Let's get some PUBG action is now. I just installed it on this phone not too long ago, and I did have to use Tap Tap to do it. But um, I'm not very far right now, but I'll give you the gist of it. Go. Don't start nothing, won't be nothing. Oh. Still invincible. Some kind of bot, probably. But you just get more flexibility. Looking like some bots right now. But, um, you guys get the idea how you can use this. To your advantage. But how you can move and still be accurate. That's what I love about having those triggers. Like the ROG phone. And the Red Magic 3S. You can be accurate while moving around. Oh. Somebody capped on me. So you guys get the idea with this. Woo, sliding to the DMs. Nope. All right. One of my favorite games of all time is Hill Climb 2. You can enable it just like that. What I love about Hill Climb 2 on the ROG phone and on the iPad is it that it runs at 120 frames per second. It doesn't on here, but I'm going to show you how smoothly it does run. Still runs nicely. There's definitely a difference, but I wouldn't say I'm missing out by not having that higher refresh rate. So 
So once again, it's a great phone to have to play games on and do everything else that you need a phone to do and excel at it, except for Google Play, unless you don't mind tinkering. But I'm loving it. Now, this phone easily replaces the ROG Phone 2 for me and replaces the Red Magic 3S because I can use it as an everyday phone. Looks great. You know, no, I don't have any RGB lighting and things like that, but it could be a daily, everyday use phone. And when I want to get some gaming in, I can do it at a high, high, high efficiency. All right, tech leads, I'll do this for the culture. Check this phone out if you have time and patience and like to tinker.